Hey everyone, welcome back. We're starting a new module um, where we're now really going to get into the theory of agroforestry, the principles and techniques. Right now this module is about the principles and the next one will be techniques. So now we're going to discover the philosophy behind it and, and everything that really supports agroforestry. A lot of it you've heard us talking about already in previous videos, but now we're really going to go into the depths of it. Um, so first things first, I like to say that there's one major ruling principle in agroforestry, which is the optimization of resources. Um, and that basically means, it, it's something that happens throughout life. In fact, life exists because of it, right? It's just a strategy it found to thrive and to grow and to, to, to be more and more abundant, right? With the same amount of resources, we can produce a lot or we can produce nothing, depend on how we manage these resources. And that, that's really key for anything. And I like to say, first thing, everything is a resource. And we tend to throw a lot of things away, don't we? You know? Oh yeah, if you look around, you know, you know leaves and you know, because we talk a lot about uh, doing, doing agroforestry in your garden, in, in, your, in your building. And, you know, it's, it's things that, you know, we're always like sweeping up and throwing away as well. So if we look around, there's a lot of resources that's going to waste. So if we start uh, understanding that, you know, organic matter and different types of organic matters, how they react and the benefits and all of that, you know. Yeah, really. the, there is that saying that nothing in nature is ever lost it's only transformed that's the, the basic principle right everything we have around us is a resource and we really have to know how to use it properly to generate more resources mm -hmm. that's the basic idea so i like to say that in um in agroforestry we could even say that in agriculture in mm -hmm. general um we have some resources that are, are key first one is the soil everything happens in the soil we, ha we, we have we can only fit a certain amount of plants in a certain area so it's a it's a limited resource that we have we've got sunlight we've got water we've got the fertilizers we use we've got labor we've got the seeds we use so all, all of these are resources necessary right the animals and animals plants mm -hmm. the organic matter we use to cover everything R is a resource it's really important for you to try identify what you have uh, to start off with and what you got to produce what you got to plant to have in 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 a, in a later stage as well a lot of people uh you know we're going to be cutting grass from the neighbors bringing it in if you, if need be for for the first start you know because you've got to plant you haven't planted your forest you haven't got bananas to cut you haven't got the eucalyptus to trim so you really got to like see if you have what you have you know a lot of people are kind of like doing you know uh, partnerships with the council and bringing in trucks full of shredded wood that they've trimmed in the city so it's really uh it's it's, it's a really good form to work as well in the, in the beginning where you know they, they don't have that much good practice with all this wood that they trim in the city and you know it tendency is they they throw it in the bin and you know so bringing that in you know uh and obviously we oh but you know you can bring in a plague from outside but you know let's just promote life man so if you bring in the resource to promote life, you can just be sure you're gonna have a positive outcome. Yeah, that's for sure. And the, the interesting thing about agroforestry is that, like we said, we really try to optimize everything. And just by planting, let's not even get into the complex agroforestry system. If you plant two species instead of one, first of all, you're optimizing your soil because in the area that you produced one, now you produce two. You're optimizing your water because the water you use to irrigate instead of producing one, you're producing two. Your labor, when you're planting one, you're already, mm -hmm. you already plant two. Or so three this, or four or five. <laughs> or three or four or five or 10 or 15, we can get up to that. Yeah. So it's really a basic notion of optimizing everything. And then we come, and for me, this is the major limiting factor, what we have really to achieve, which is sunlight. It is photosynthesis, because that photosynthesis is the basis of all life, right? We know uh -huh. that. Um, life only started really to thrive when bacteria started um, being able to do photosynthesis, because we've got limited sunlight, 
sun, sun, the sun is hitting on, uh, in, on, on the earth 24 hours a day. So it's unlimited source of energy and plants are able to capture that energy. And in a certain area, there is so much photosynthesis you can do. And we really have to go to and achieve the maximum of that. And that we achieve through wise use of species to consortiate them and being able to have the, uh, the maximum amount of leaves receiving that sunlight. And we do that through stratification mm -hmm. as it happens in the forest. Because then you've got many layers of plants capturing sunlight all mm -hmm. through until it reaches the ground. And yeah. if you go to a forest, the sun doesn't reach the ground, meaning it's all captured on the leaves. And, and it's, it's a really a case of uh, knowing how to best use the resource that's available to you. Yeah, uh, you know, we've got the materials and what material is going to have a greater impact? When you have a, a, a bed of uh, veg, you know, maybe you want something that's more shredded, some more organized rather than big leaves. Uh, for the corridors, you can lay down big trunks of wood or bigger leaves and things like that. You know, in my case, we have a lot of the manure of the horse manure that we mix with the shredded and we bring that back, you know, and, and, and there's, that, there's that famous saying, you know, where the, when you have like a, a dead log, a dead branch of, of, your, of your tree, you know, over there, it's, it's that wood, it's there, it's dead, it's occupying that space in the tree. It's no use for anybody at the moment. But once we, you know, we, we, we've come in and we've interacted with, with it, so this is our part, you know, as humans, we come in, we interact with it, we cut that, and it becomes uh, using, res you know, that resource comes to feed the ground. So now we, we, we got a positive note from that. Exactly, so that's a very, very basic example of using work to optimize a resource. A dead branch, which is no use on the tree, but on the floor, it's going to become food for microorganisms, which in turn are going to feed back that plant. So it's really knowing at the right exactly. time we come in and interact with the forest. And this is really great you mentioned because now we come into the fact that, like I said earlier, life is doing that all the time. And there are specific species for doing each work. Every species has its, its function and they're all doing everything they can to optimize whatever resources they have available to make sure that that resource is not lost but used to create more life. Every insect, every plant, every, bird. every animal, every bird, you know, every <laughs> microorganism, they're the doing that. The best, the best trees I have here, the most prosperous and the best papaya trees and you know we're planting this, we want to harvest, but the best are the ones that are planted by the animals. Yeah. So for th sure, they're really wise. They know how to use a seed, which is the most precious resource we have. It's the seed. So it's really amazing. And we just have to find out what we can do to optimize. That means put to good use whichever resources we have available. And that creates yeah. richness, my friends. That's, That's the, 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 the main source of richness is knowing how to use resources properly. That makes us rich in many ways. And I, I like to think, to, to say that we, we, we shouldn't be trying to do the, the work of others, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, if I, if I have- uh, That's all optimizing. I, exactly. I, I, I'm doing a work and you come here and you, you know, push me out of my way and you, you try to do my work. I'm not gonna like and that. And I'm not it's a not professional. Gonna, yeah. And you're not a professional. And the best animal to prepare the soil is the worm, it's not man. The worm does it a lot better than we do. Let's leave it to them. We have to understand that every being is doing its best to make the ecosystem better. We have to find our spot without interfering in their spot. That's why it's really important to look after these creatures. That's why we always try plant one root in, in, in this bed to really look after the life inside the soil, that fungus that's gonna promote, that's gonna in turn feed. It's really important to leave the old papayas that you can't sell anymore for the birds to eat and plant for you. So, you know, it's really important to look after the, the life and the abundance of sure. creatures within your system and yeah. really plant for them as well. Yeah. I like to say that before being a vegetable producer or a fruit producer or anything, we should be fungi producer, we should be worms producer. We really have to look after them because they're 
the ones that look after our plants and they do a hell lot of a better job than All we right. do so first thing let's take care of the the most precious life resource we have which is soil. life in the soil exactly That's it. That's and we it. do that by covering the soil by having live root systems in the soil because it's just this amazing rich interaction that happens both ways yeah from plants to fungi and worms and from worms and fungi to plants yeah so I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. We've got more to say, Pretty but let's great. talk about it in the webinar. Exactly. Uh, I hope we made ourselves clear with this, this idea of optimizing resources. If you had any doubts, please, please write them down. We'd, be, we'd love to hear them. All right? That's it. So from us, from the Agroforestry Academy crew. We'll check in out. See you later.